Hey guys, I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about two brushes. The first is the nudge brush, which basically just moves vertices along, and the second is the thumb brush, which moves and flattens sections accordingly. But what I want you to think about is these brushes are final touch brushes. So once you've done everything on your model and you're pretty proud of the way it looks, but you need to make some final adjustments to how the mesh is looking, that's when you'd go ahead and use the thumb brush and the nudge brush. So let's take a look at the nudge brush first, and then we'll do the thumb brush. So we can come over here and find the nudge brush, which is down here underneath uh, the pose brush in Blender 2.82. And this essentially is just gonna nudge vertices along a direction. So if I come over here on this cheek and I start just kind of doing this, what we can see is that the vertices are moving, but it's very, very weak. It's essentially doing a very light grab and move type of thing. And if we jump into uh, edit mode after we nudge some of these vertices along, let's do this area and check this out. We can see that the vertices are bunching up right around this area, but there's not really a ton of change in our mesh. And so at, now that we've used the nudge brush again, we've removed that section there of density. So that's essentially the nudge brush. You're not going to use this a ton. I'll be honest, in all the models that I've ever created for finalizing detail, the nudge brush is something that I've used maybe once or twice across a couple hundred models. It's just a final touch brush. You might even not want to use it. You could really get the same effect using a very, very light strength grab brush. So that said, let's talk about the thumb brush because the thumb brush is something that I have used a little bit more than the nudge brush. So what I want you to think about with this brush is Play-Doh. So if you had Play-Doh growing up and you would like squeeze Play-Doh between your fingers and like, like press your thumb in into the side. So the effect that you got was a flattening effect in the center of the Play-Doh where you were pressing your thumbs in and then Play-Doh moving away from the direction that you're pushing. So essentially the thumb brush tries to mimic that. So we can come over here to the thumb brush right over here on the left and let's just thumb our nose together to give ourselves a more prominent ridge for our nose. And so you can see that that's basically exactly what's happening. And if we go to the right, we can see that it's essentially gotten a very flat, hard line uh, effect for our nose as we pinched those pieces together. And if we were to thumb up the nose a little bit, we're getting a flattening effect on the bottom, but it's still moving those vertices. So I'm gonna undo that just because this model isn't complete and I'm not really ready to use this thumb brush on it yet. But the point is, is that's basically all you're going to do with these brushes. So I'm Sir Pinkbeard, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.